Okay guys, so I'm uh, back at my Hantec uh, 1008 and uh, somebody asked me if I could do a, a video on uh, the math channel. If you recall, uh, there is a signal generator on the, uh, the 1008 and I'm using it. And uh, so there on uh, channel 1, you can see the output. It's, uh, it's a thousand hertz of course and uh, just under two volts there as you can see guys maybe it's two volts but I've got two channels on it starting to load up maybe so I've got one channel displayed at the moment let me uh, pull in channel two here which is just in parallel with uh, channel one so no surprise it'll show the exact same thing so here you can see we have two two different signals on the two channels let me pull in the math channel here you can do so by going to setup math or control m if you prefer and i'll open this window so let's just start with some basics here so you can assign whatever channel you want to um, source a and source b just, just keep it basic here channel one and channel two a and b respectively uh, make sure you scale it so you can make some sense of what you're looking at on the screen let's start with the basics so let's just do some simple addition of uh, a and b or channel one and two if you prefer uh, and select display make sure the invert is not on otherwise it might balls you up and what we see here on the screen so the red channel with the marker M makes good sense is just a simple addition of the two so perhaps that will offer you some utility I can't really think of anything that I can think of um, you can do a course, uh, there's a few basic math uh, um, functions that you can do. This is pretty basic as I said on the, some other scopes I think you get some complicated mathematics but on this it's just simple as you could well imagine. Well, as you can well imagine there guys if we subtract the same um, the same values from each other we're going to get zero, yeah? So this could actually come in kind of handy i can think of one thing that i think might make some sense with respect to um, just some basic addition i'll show you that shortly we just use a simple addition function i think that could be handy if we have um two signals now of course these are in phase because they're coming from the same source as the same signal um but if these were out of phase um like the can bus for example um, where they basically the two signals uh, can high and can low basically mirror each other um, they should effectively cancel each other yeah other than the DC offset so let's go take a look at that and if they don't cancel each other um, perhaps some tolerance can be expected but um, there may be a way of picking up an issue with CAN bus simply by using the simple addition function um, on the math channel. Let's take a look. Oh man, she's nippy out here. It says minus eight, but damn, it feels a lot colder than that. So there's my wee cheapy breakout box there, guys. So uh, I'm on the uh, CAN bus. Um, of course, on the uh, the 1008, that CAN bus, that is the CAN bus high. Uh, we know that the, the signal, the the trace is somewhat bastardized because of the limitations of the 1008, but you can still see it, right? So there's the data packet. That's the high. Let me bring on the uh, can low. There's the can low. And uh, as we could expect, um, sorry about the shake in the camera. As I said, it's damn cold out here. Um, so there's the uh, can high and can low, as I said. And they're pretty much a mirror image of each other, right? So if we do the addition in the math channel, just apply the math channel here, we should see basically uh, a null minus the offset of the uh, can high and can low. So let's see if that is in fact the case. And that is the case. So ideally it would be uh, in a perfect world, of course, it would be a straight line. Um, but that's just not the case, is it? I mean, between the... the uh, architecture of the system itself the limitations of that um, the limitations of the tooling and the setup and the noise that we're getting here um, it doesn't surprise me that there is some um, differential between the uh, the high and the low um, again 
the offset is going to be there. You can see the mass channel is right down at the bottom there, guys, because uh, the offset, that is the, the scaling. Yeah, so we have the offset in the uh, between the two channels. So anyway, there is some practical application of it. That's one of the few that came in mind. Um, I hope this makes some sense, guys. The math channel does afford you some utility. Not a great deal, to be honest, at least not for me. Uh, but it is there, and in certain applications. Uh, I tried to actually use it to do... Um, um, power is, is just uh voltage times current of course right and uh current times voltage if you prefer uh but i couldn't really get it because you're dealing with two different units you know and I, I, it kind of freaks out i couldn't get the math channel to give me a power measurement although maybe somebody can and if you can by all means let me know in the comments so uh yeah that's that voice the math channel uh no the greatest example i realized but uh, one of the few that I could actually uh, could think of offhand that might make some sense to clarify what I'm trying to explain here. That's that, boys. Cheers.